Hi guys. I uh my chair. I when I do my makeup I make it lower, but with the way my desk is set up and the tripod that I use, it makes me like weirdly low. <laughs> like on stream, so hello. It's real dark in here. Why is it like that? I think that light might be turned off. Huh. I close my windows. I'm gonna do that. No. Mm. Do I want to? <laughs> She's hey, the stream. stream. She's She's the stream. Wait, 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 but I don't have my tab open. open. Esteban! <laughs> Thank you. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Where's my stream dashboard? Uh, da, 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 da. Um, Twitch alert. Nope, stream alerts. Streamlabs, what company do I use? Streamlabs. <sighs> You'd think I would know. <laughs> You'd think I would know. Why is it dark mode now? Don't like that. Or why is it light mode? Obviously, I like dark mode. Light mode makes no sense. Esteban, thank you for nine months in a row. Let me close these curtains because then I can turn on the light and it'll be less dark in here. I have to take this off because I have to walk. Oh, the fall. Um, boop, 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 boop. Why, hello. Okay. Oxygen. My oxygen and my earbuds are all, t all tangled up. It, it's a little ridiculous. <laughs> That's not gonna work. Uh, okay. Hold up, hold up. <laughs> This is not going very smoothly. Hi, hi friends. Hi friends, now I can look at chat. Hi guys. Um, so, hello. Uh, hello, beautiful friends, how's it going? I, um, what's it called? Um, I, I'm kind of under the weather a little bit because I, um, my Adderall wore off, <laughs> first of all, but it's like 5.30, so if I take another one, I could take another one, but like, am I going to have heart palpitations later, you know? Like, I should have taken one at like 2 or something, or maybe like 3, even. Um, but I was a fool and I didn't. Um, but also... My oxygen is really low, which is a pain in the ass. And I think it's from being, well, I don't know, maybe it's from being really tired from yesterday my brother was in town and we, I entertained my five-year-old nephew. Uh, and man, kids are exhausting. Man, am I happy that I don't have kids. Um, love them. They're great. But uh, I'm tired and it was like two days of like every day, how how do you summon that kind of energy? How? Oh. Um, I understand Texas. Um, yeah, I understand. I feel better. I am. Um, I'm in a good mood. I. I'm really close to a hundred thousand followers on Instagram, and I'm really excited about it. Because when it's once I reach a hundred thousand, I can gloat. That was me twirling an imaginary mustache, but it's just my cannula. Um, I'm gonna sneeze. And I really don't wanna sneeze on YouTube. Gotta like catch it before it starts. Take the tube out. <laughs> Hi! 
Hi friends, we were just in, by the way, if you haven't joined the Discord, you should join the Discord because we, we were just watching a bunch of like fun supernatural episodes in the, in the Discord and then also we were watching a supernatural gag reel of like bloopers and stuff. Um, it was just really fun. Uh, it was just really fun. We do that a lot. Um, should have taken that. Should have done it. Fucked up. I'm pretty sleepy. Um, but I gotta stay awake. Hey, how's it going? Hello. Wait, where's my music? Let's see. Oh, wait, I haven't announced that I'm live. <laughs> Probably should do that. Oh, my phone's dead. Okay, well, I have another one, so I can at least go some places. Take a photo. Good enough. Good enough. I'll live at everyone. Oh, balls. oh wait no I have a whole room for that now I have a whole thing for that now where did it go I have like a place in the channel for it I'm sweating it's hot in here 70 degrees in my house I do not approve I'm melting um at everyone I just always wrote at supernatural not uh, how that works I'm live. Um, I'm love. Nope. I'm alive. Just saying hi for a little bit. Just saying hi for a little bit. <sighs> hmm. Um, oh, and then I put the photo. Photo, definitely not that photo. Um, I cannot, I cannot push buttons correctly today. Uh, hey, it's Ali. How's it going? How's it going? Um, yeah, I'm doing a lot better. Uh, today is just a step backwards because. Specifically, um, I entertained a five-year-old for two days, and that shit is exhausting. Um, I do not have the kind of energy for five-year-olds. Holy shit. Um, share to get link. Copy link. Okay. Paste. Wow. And now. Thank you. Finished Oregon Trail, but you're still grinding adventures on it. Hey, you know, we all have our games that, you know, we we spend a lot of time on. I loved playing Oregon Trail. Um I um, don't think I'll be dressing as a, uh, what are they called? What are the people, the women who went on the Oregon Trail called? Frontiers woman. <laughs> There's a new Oregon Trail? What? 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 Pilgrims? The pilgrims are different because pilgrims are from earlier when they came over to America, right? I don't know. I didn't grow up here. I don't know that kind of thing. I have to unbutton my my thing because I ate too much stir fry. <laughs> I ate a little too much stir fry. Um, mm, a new Oregon Trail. I should. Look. I played the last one as a browser game. <laughs> I wonder if the new one is like a game. Didn't hear. Yeah, I didn't know either. 
We shall see. I'm trying to think about anything I accomplished today. I made stir fry. No, but I feel like I did things. What did I do today? Uh, uh, never mind. I did do things. I did. It's on Steam. I'm looking it up right now. Oregon Trail. I really want to play the multiplayer um, Ghostbusters game, and I really want to play the multiplayer um, Surgeon Simulator 2, which is multiplayer. Uh, the Oregon Trail 2022. Wow. Okay, hold on. Hold on. I need to make it so you guys can see. But I'm pretty sure my shit is fucked. Yeah. <laughs> Well, I don't know about fucked, but it's not. It's because we were doing Supernatural Smasher Pass. So I have it set up for that. I have it set up for being horny about imaginary people. Not, you know, real stuff. So there we go. It looks so different. Oh, so advanced. I hope the wagon. Uh, okay, wow, elaborate comparatively wow and look everyone has their little thingies oh and the hunt oh my god that is weird i'm gonna put it on my wish list 30 dollars why would a game like this be 30 dollars is it all because of how beautiful that water looks i think it's all because of how beautiful the water looks in that scene that's why it costs 30 dollars they spend months working just on that water and nothing else clearly Uh, hi, I am having a good day. On Apple Arcade? Oh. This would make a good mobile game, it seems. It has that mobile game essence. Well, I have a chip today. <laughs> She's a professional <laughs> streamer. She does hey, professional stuff. La 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 la. la, 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 la. Thank, thank you. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you. Um, cool. Love it. Um, yeah, I'm gonna probably not make, I'm not gonna be live very long today because I, uh, um, um, it does not help that my Adderall wore off and I didn't take the second one, but it's cause, it's cause I missed the window and if I take it now, it's like too late. And the problem is Adderall makes me sleepy because it's Adderall. Of course, it makes me sleepy, um, but I'm already really sleepy <laughs> because it's like a really windy day. It's super windy. And this morning was like there was like rain and stuff. It was great, but it's very windy and wind makes me so sleepy. And then the Adderall on top, I would go to sleep and that would be a problem. And I would end up having heart palpitations later when I try to go to sleep. I would fall asleep too early, fuck up my sleep schedule, and then try to fall asleep. I would, I don't know, have heart palpitations. But, 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 tomorrow. Um, so the weather's not good tomorrow. <laughs> my, my, I keep forgetting that my phone is dead, but I have my second phone. Um, but, okay. Let me look at which days have good weather. We're in like shit weather time. So today is windy. Tomorrow is windy. Thursday is, uh, there's a little sun behind the cloud. So cloudy, but like not super cloudy. And not cloudy, but like there's some sunshine. But where's the wind? Wind. The gusts might be kind of a lot, so I'll, I might try to do hot tubbing that day, but I'll just see how windy it is. And then Friday and Saturday are both windy days. Not windy, they're cloudy completely, but less windy. So maybe. Damn, Mary! Ah! Damn, Mary! That's me! Damn, Mary! Falling down. Oh right, because I unzipped, unbuttoned them. 
Because I ate too much stir fry. It's like, I don't think these pants were loose. They're not loose. They're tight. I just, <laughs> I just unbuttoned them because fucking stir fry is delicious. Um, Sunday's going to be crazy windy, like crazy, like extreme. Okay, so there's, there Monday and Tuesday uh, are good. Monday and Tuesday are both good for wind and sunlight. And I'm going to test the waters the next few days and see. Haha, <laughs> test the waters to see about hot tub stream. Um, we shall see. It's the shitty time of year when the wind is extreme. Be bad. Um, they add new adventure stories? Really? I am a weather forecaster. You know, somewhere in my closet I have dresses that are don't fit me, but I could maybe kind of squeeze into that are basically the same thing that are like what all the weather court forecasty girls wear. Except I would be kind of like a sausage, like bursting out of a casing. But like, I could, and I have a green screen. I could wear a dress that doesn't fit me and have a green screen. And I could be a weather reporter, weather forecaster. But I'd just be holding my phone at the same time being like, uh, the next day is going to be windy. Um, just wave and then add on the, and then the green. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Uh, I'm a little out of it. You might have noticed. Uh, I haven't written in my diary yet again. I did once, but I need to do it more. I need to write in my fucking diary. That is so cute. And I, I need to write in it. I need to be good, but I need to do it when I have Adderall in me. But every time I have Adderall in me, I'm like, oh, oh, limited time, the uh, functioning brain. I have to accomplish things. And like, there's always something higher priority than writing in this thing, even though my therapist told me to. So this should be higher priority. Um, I'm in a good mood. I'm in a good mood, even though I'm kind of fucky. Kind of fucky. Um. Why oh, am I yawning? I have oxygen on. Why? Hey, I never sneezed. It didn't happen. That's surprising. Why is my heart rate going 107? Oh, because I was ranting about diary writing. <laughs> Not no higher priority than Crowley. I mean, you're not wrong. Today we watch. Oh my god. Okay, next time we watch Supernatural, which might have to be tonight. I don't know. I want to watch my favorite episode. Is it my favorite? It's one of my favorites. It's a Crowley Crowley specific episode when he had the human blood addiction. Mm hmm. Um. I can't remember what happens in it because in my head <laughs> something else happened in it. Um, I don't remember what actually happened in the show, but it did inspire a whole head cannon. A whole head cannon. Is it cloudy? Yeah, it is. Eh. It being cloudy is only bad when I want a hot tub. <laughs> Otherwise, I'm like, yay, clouds! But no, I want a hot tub. And the lighting is shit. It's incredibly unflattering <laughs> when there's uh, clouds. It's like, ah, oh, yes. No better time to feel like I look bad than when I'm wearing a bikini. Like that good, sweet, gray, unflattering lighting. Also, it's like harder on the eyes when it's cloudy because it's brighter. You know, it's like that painful brightness. I don't know. You can just tell from my background that it's cloudy. Yeah. I forgot to order hair dye today. I have to dye my hair. It's time. It's significantly past time. But now I'm going to stop putting it off. And I'm going to do it. Unless I forget again. Um, My phone is dead. I can't do it now. <laughs> what is wrong with me? Oh, you know what I need to do? 
I need to arrange things. Where's my phone? Oh, it's dead. My new me heart medication, my new heart medication is kind of fucking with my head because it causes head. So first of all, one of the reasons I'm on it is that I've been having like migraines, right? I mean, I always have migraines, but like we're talking like painful ones. And, but not like stupid painful, like not, cause I've had migraines where it's like, you would kill yourself if you could, but you're too physically ill to kill yourself. That kind of migraine. It's not like that. It's just like, it's you know. Um, the point is that the a side effect of the medication for my migraines is headaches. Uh, <laughs> headaches and insomnia, but I have narcolepsy. So like, I keep, it's like I feel really sleepy all day and then I fall asleep, but then I wake up and then like, it's like, is it gonna make me, am I, is my headache gonna be too severe and am I gonna be stuck awake half, awake half the night? Who knows? I think my body's getting used to it at least, but the headachiness is like, you know how sometimes you have a headache and you just feel like your brain is made of pudding? It's like that. I just feel like fried. Uh, hi. Yeah, it's cloudy. Um. I have the door of my house open because it's hot in here. It's like 70 degrees in this room. I'm melting. I feel like I'm melting. But yeah, Crowley. Oh, I want to watch that episode tonight. I also really want to... We were watching um, Supernatural Season 1 through 7 Gag Reel Supercut. I have it in front of me. Uh, <laughs> on uh, in the Discord right before this. Join the Discord if you haven't, because we do lots of cool shit. I would love that. That's the thing is like the wind outside is cold. Like if I went outside, it would be cold. The reason it's hot is that I have a sunroom, which is like an oven. It, the sunroom existing <laughs> heats up the whole house. And then also um, because our sunlight here is so intense, but also because the lights in this part, it doesn't look particularly bright, but the lights I have in here, even though they're LEDs and the computers and everything, like all the technology in this room, just like you can feel the difference. Like it heats the, sh the place up like crazy. Um. <laughs> Uh, I don't know. Inside it. Hey, Forest of Wires. It's Mr. Wire. Um, yeah, lights create so much. I know, and it's it's weird because they are LEDs specifically, so they wouldn't produce so much heat, you know. But Jesus, I am melting when I'm in this room. If I don't like, I'm. It's like February, and I might have to turn on the air conditioner. I had to turn the air conditioner on the first time this year in January. Ridiculous. I got a new, <laughs> it's also probably the two computers. I think there's, there's only two now. There was three all connected before because one of them was specifically for emulators for specific types of emulators that only work with older. Anyway, but that one's gone. So two computers. Uh, I am so out of it. I'm so out of it. Um, <laughs> I'm so out of it. I need to not forget. I'm gonna leave this on my hands so that when I go in the other room, I don't forget to put my oxygen on my face. Sometimes it, it, it makes me like more out of it and then I'll like walk away or something and I'll be like, why do I feel terrible? Huh? <laughs> and I just will be like, I don't know why I feel so terrible. I wonder if I'm getting sick, blah, blah, blah. It'll be like hours go by and then I suddenly like a light bulb goes off and I'm like, Oh, it's because I'm not getting enough oxygen to all my organs and my brain. Um, <laughs> like, so stupid. Even having air, yeah, even though it's cold. You gotta, you gotta, yeah. It's a weird, the weather is weird right now. Very windy. Very windy, windy, super windy. We might get some rain soon, though. We got some this morning before I was awake. I love rain. Because I live in the desert, Rain here is like a big deal. It's like a, a, a reason to like celebrate. 
It's <laughs> it's like every old person here will walk outside and be like, we needed this. That's like what you do here when it rains. <laughs> That's like the old people saying that it's raining in the desert. Fine. Um, once I start saying that, we'll know. We'll know that I've gotten old. Uh, yeah, you gotta nod and look at the sky. Um, I sometimes, when it rains here, I'll lie down on the concrete. Because a lot of times the concrete will still be hot, um, but it's raining and the rain is like cool. So you're lying on this like hot surface and then the raindrops are falling all over you, but they're cool. So it's like this weird contrast. It feels they go out and wait for the mothership. Yep. What we do here in the desert. Roswell's only 203? Fuck. 3 a.m.-ish hours away. I really wish Roswell would get more tourist attractions in it because I would love to stream there, but I've, they don't have a lot to do. <laughs> like, the, the whole alien tourist thing in Roswell is like, they should lean into it more, you know? Uh, they like when I was there, which was in like high school, it was they they do have like alien gift shop, alien museum, the fun like more alien shops like the in the like plaza downtown uh, in Roswell. The light posts are aliens. They're alien. Like the top is an alien head. <laughs> But I would love to like go dress like an alien or a space girl and go stream there, but there's just not enough to do. Where else can I do cool alien shit and stream it? Wait, conventions exist. And I could wear my space helmet so I don't get COVID. I'm gonna look up for an alien one. <laughs> alien convention. USA, I guess Canada too, or Mexico. Um, let's see. Home, Alien Con, Pasadena, mm, California traffic. I, well, it wouldn't really be an issue because I wouldn't be driving because I refuse to drive in California because I'm not good. <laughs> uh, it. Inside Alien Con, the a annual gathering of ancient aliens. Wait, is it just for ancient aliens fans? Like the TV show? What? Uh, or is it like for people who, what? I will have to look into these alien conventions because that would be super fun to do an alien convention. I would have to contact them and see if they'd let me stream. But usually when I contact conventions asking that, they say yes. Um. Where's my chat? Where'd my Twitch chat go? Why do I have an empty? Um, in March? That's so soon! That's too soon! I'm not prepared for that. Uh, just go to the McDonald's that has a UFO in Roswell. Yes, one of the many tourist attractions in Roswell, the McDonald's. I know. I think we did actually eat there when I was in high school when we were in Roswell. Or maybe we ate at the other the place down. I, it was a long time ago. I don't remember. I don't remember. I know there was a spaceship. Some kind of festival here in... Alien... Wait, 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 wait. In... Oh, yeah, I should have looked New Mexico. That's where I live. <laughs> I could have. I could have. <laughs> Instead, I just looked up Alien Convention. In New Mexico? Um, Roswell UFO Festival. That could be fun because then there'd be like people dressed in costumes and like activities and stuff. It's in July. I could wear my dumb space helmet and then I wouldn't catch COVID. And that would give me an excuse to finally <laughs> to finally buy all my cute alien girl costumes or uh, space girl costumes. I want to be a slutty space explorer. Um, I have one slutty astronaut costume <laughs> that I never got to wear because I was sick for Halloween, so I never got to wear it. Also, I'm pretty sure it's too small in ways that are a deal breaker, but um, I could get all the PVC vinyl 
costuming stuff. I could want maybe some spandex in there. Ooh, okay. I'm leaving this tab open. Alien, I know. I see. I want to go stream at some kind of alien esque event because I, <laughs> because I think it would be funny. Um, I think it would be funny to dress like an alien, um, or like a space girl and to make content and like this, like if you know, there's like space museums that are like some are serious, some are not. The one in Roswell is not. <laughs> it's not not serious. It's like. This is what the alien could look like if it's like a gray man. And then like, this is what the alien could look like. This is what an autopsy of an alien could look like. And it's like mannequins. Uh, <laughs> basically bikini. Yeah, I mean, yeah, yeah. See, I can make it work. Yeah, I want to do that. July. Okay, so now I have to, now I have something to plan for in July. Mr. Wires, you could come, come hang out in New Mexico and Roswell of all places. Roswell is kind of a shithole. <laughs> such a shithole. Um, oh man, it's such a shithole, but I know, <laughs> yeah, yeah, Roswell sucks. But I'm gonna have to look into this festival. Maybe it isn't worth going to. I need to take a look and see if there's anything else. Ow. These earbuds are too big for my dumb deformed ear canals. Dumb birth defect ear canals. I'm looking at photos of it. There, I'm seeing a lot of spandex. <laughs> okay, hold on. You guys want to see this? Wait, let me make sure there's no nudity. Um, well, that alien is topless, but uh, I don't see a nipple, so it's fine. Um, <laughs> this is the vibe I'm getting, um, uh, which is delightful. Um, I, <laughs> I, I like dumb shit. I just want to do stupid shit with my life, you know, like fun stuff where people don't take themselves terribly seriously. Look at all these aliens. Wow. <laughs> uh, okay. That one's got a, is that a bag on their head? Oh, no, 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 that's part of a costume. I was gonna say, is that like a tinfoil hat kind of situation? Oh my gosh, they probably have speakers. Talking about aliens. Love it. Maybe there's like, Sci-fi authors, that would be cool. Uh, when I go to that costuming convention in Arizona that I'd normally go to with the like Victorian steampunk blah 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 stuff, uh, which I'm not going to this year because COVID, they're, they're they're doing it at like a hotel resort thing this year instead of at the place, the, the film studio. So it's like not worth it. Um I don't remember. Where, oh, yeah, they always have authors of various books of historical fiction. Um, that's a good fucking predator right there. Look how good that predator is. Cute. Um, okay, I better stop scrolling in case we see some alien penis. That would be a problem. Um, not that I'm opposed to alien. Just on Twitch. Um, the storm area 51 days. Those were strange times. I thought you said that's a good fucking Redditor right there. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, hey, Big B. How's it going? Tin foil. I could wear, I could, what if I wear a tin foil hat, but a not just a regular, like, Hershey Kiss looking tin foil hat? What if I make an elaborate tinfoil hat that looks way cooler, like a pirate hat or something, and then, uh, I, then they won't get in my brain, but I'll also look cool. I could be a space pirate. I was a space pirate for how long? Oh, wait, I didn't get to wear my, oh my God, I'm going to sneeze. Is it going to happen? I have to take my tube out if it's going to happen. Is it going to happen? I don't want to sneeze in my tube again. Not this tube. The tube that got sneezed in is long gone. Mm -hmm. Is it gonna happen? Uh. 
Thumb is fun. I agree. Thumb is fun. Um, I just want to rage. Um, what happened with the tubes? Use some kind of air, a cyborg alien chick. I wish. No, I just have low oxygen because of long COVID. It comes and goes. And also porphyria. So like medical shit that's boring and comes and goes. <laughs> it's nothing serious. I just have to wear this tube sometimes. Um. <laughs> Naruto run. <laughs> yes. Uh, I am. Um, the museum, I know. Check out, see if it's worth going. Yeah, I'm gonna have to look. Uh, I'm gonna have to do some research. Look up some YouTube videos and reviews of the Alien Festival in Roswell. See if it's worth it. Um, I don't remember what I was saying. There was something, probably, but it's long gone. And it probably wasn't that important. Maybe. I don't know. Did you see? I washed my hair today. You can tell because it's fluffy and wavy and I look kind of like I live in a in a cave in the forest um that's how you can tell I wash my hair too yeah it's soft as a cloud that's not true it's incredibly damaged but it's oh it's still wet <laughs> it's still damp it still has more fluffing up to do um it still has more fluffing up to do in high school one time a friend of mine she braided tiny braids into my hair badly we didn't know what we were doing one night at a sleepover and I had braces but also my hair was like this long like it was really short because it was 10th grade and I thought it would be fun to cut my hair and get orange streaks in it and then and then we took the braids out <laughs> like a legitimate like a I had an afro but like I was a little like white girl with like Little chubby white girl with like braces and a self esteem problem. It was, I, I, the photos no longer exist. Mm. <laughs> it's big and full of, my hair is full of secrets. I sometimes find twigs in there. It happens. Or leaves. Occasionally, you know, I occasionally find <laughs> pieces of nipple rings. After Drea left, I legitimately found like one or two nipple rings in my hair. And I wash my hair consistently. It's just like, I'll like lie down somewhere where Drea, like Drea's nipple rings la landed and it would like get ta like tangled in there and I wouldn't notice. And then I'd like go to brush it that night and there'd be a fucking nipple ring in my hair. Um, <laughs> it was really funny. <laughs> She left a seemingly endless supply of nipple rings at my house. It was pretty funny. I also sometimes find, because my hairbrush, you know the little like things, bristles on your hairbrush? My hair will pull those out. Um, and so then, and they, they get pulled out, but I don't notice it. And they, they just like stay in my hair. They get, so I'll find like pieces of my hairbrush. Um... <laughs> I do shower. Uh, <laughs> there's just a lot of it, okay? Disney princess. Um, I have, in the past, caught a bird that was in my house, in my hand. I caught this bird by simply pretending to be a tree and sticking my arm out and asking the bird to come to me or whatever. And the bird flew and landed on my hands and then like I just took it outside so maybe I am a Disney princess because I'm pretty good at catching birds all you gotta do is pretend to be uh, a tree and be tall not that hard <laughs> I know it's like a vision tray is like a video game NPC you gotta you gotta collect all the nipple rings and give them to her <laughs> You are, Tracy. You're already ahead of the game. Oh, man. <laughs> um, yeah, I need to, I need to, like, I have Olaplex to use over here. I just need to actually do it. I'm just lazy. Um, I'm lazy and I, <laughs> I'm just lazy. That's all there is. 
Um, but I'm gonna dye it. I'm gonna finally dye it because I just hate dyeing my hair so much. It's not even hard, but I just hate it. It's such a hassle forever. And I always miss pieces and end up with weird chunks that are the wrong color. I'm just dyeing it brown. It doesn't matter. It's gonna be the same. It's just that my hair started turning gray when I was 15. And so like, there, those, that's gray. And it, it, on the camera, it makes it look like I'm like balding, but it's just gray. <laughs> like It's just like white. And so it, it makes it, it's not good. Um, but I can't wait because I have all these, ooh, do you guys wanna see? I'm fine. I just have long COVID and porphyria. Um. I cannot fucking wait to use these, but I wanna dye my hair to do it so that I can do like cute shit and like the gray, it just doesn't look good with it. Doesn't look how I want it to look because <laughs> Cruella de Vil. Um, someday, but eventually. Not yet. I'm not ready for that yet. Look, they're like gold rings and stuff that you put on your hair. And I've got like a bunch of them. And I've got silver too. Wow, I've got so much of this shit. Look, you can't tell. These are butterflies. They're, look, they're like little rings with butter, gold butterflies hanging from them. And I have rose gold. Wow. Um, I have so much of this shit. Just regular rings. These ones have like stars and moons. These are gold stars and moons. Like how cute is that? It's so good. Um, oh, and then this, ah, seashells on gold rings. They're like real seashells on gold rings. I can't wait to use all this shit. Cold butter. Cold what? <laughs> I'm so confused. I do need to make another belly dancing outfit eventually. Um, I mean, I used to make my costumes all the time for like performances and stuff, but I, uh, Nah, my, <laughs> they do not fit me anymore. <laughs> not even close. Well, yeah, it would be, um, it would not go well if I tried to wear my old costume. <sighs> yeah. I gotta, I gotta get new costumes. We're gonna make new costumes. They don't make, you have to get them either custom made or make them yourself if you've got enormous boobs because they they go up to like a D. Like they they think the alphabet ends at D. Um so yeah. So you have to get them either custom made uh and hope that it fits cuz you don't get them custom made like here in town. You know, it's like a it's a half a mailed. But also like then it's not going to fit right. It's going to be like sometimes they make the boobs a weird shape if it's if it's like from those Sometimes it, it's touchy because you can't like see it ahead of time. It's like, um, they don't know how to like make it the right, sh like make it, it can be like unflattering or whatever. And then, but yeah, so I just got to make it myself, which I used to do all the time. I used to make my costumes all the time, but, um, I have to think to do that and also spend an enormous amount of time sewing things to other things. Uh, Asked me to go shopping with her and it was $140 for a G-cup. Yeah, bras are fucking expensive if you've got big boobs. Like, I'm like an H. And it, I, so I cannot just go to the mall. <laughs> I can't go to a store, like, in person. I have to order it online and hope it fits. And it costs, like, a fucking fortune. This bra I'm wearing right now, two of the, first of all, five hooks, on the back five, like, closures because, um, it needs to be a powerful bra. Uh, two of them, the two bottom ones don't even work anymore. They're all, they're like mangled because like I wear it, too, I've worn it too much. And then, so it's just relying on the top three and they're slowly being bent out of shape. Yeah, I need like industrial strength, the titty throne. Um, yeah, it sucks. <laughs> torrid, yeah, I get a lot of mine at Torrid, but like, 
I want to start. I want. Oh my god, you reminded me. There's like a. I was gonna try Adore Me, which is like cheaper quality, not as good quality. You can tell, but if it's just for photo shoots and stuff, then it's like it doesn't have to be good quality. It just has to look good on camera. I'm not gonna like wear it in real life, really. But then I end up with like so much lingerie around my house. I already have too much, too much lingerie. Absurd amount of lingerie. Um, and Vel Vel there is no Velcro on this earth strong enough. <laughs> uh. <laughs> yeah, this bra is on its deathbed, like begging for me to unplug, unplug, unplug the life support machine. It is desperate for me to, me to. <laughs> Oh, yeah, this bra is suffering, and I won't let it go. Cargo bra for a real boop. I would fucking love a bra with pockets. I know they exist, but they're extremely rare and definitely not available in my size. But I would fucking love to have, like, secret compartments in my bras. Like, you know how Victoria's Secret and some other retailers, they make those bras that add two cup sizes because they're like just foam, enormous foam or whatever. Um, what if in that foam you had like space, like a hard uh, plastic sort of compartment and you could like get in there and you could put things like you could you could put so many things in there. Um, be like, no, officer, I just haven't. I'm not that you would lie to an officer of the law. No, Mr. Security Man, who's definitely not a law officer. I am not hiding anything. I just have extra big boobs. <laughs> uh, <laughs> what is wrong with me today? So much. Yeah, you can put so much shit. You put so much shit. Um, <laughs> bra. But that's awkward. Like, how are you supposed to do that? My arms don't reach. That's so, no. Plus, like, yeah, so you can't warm your own hands on your bra. That doesn't really work. It's, like, painful. But you can stick your hands in between someone else's boobs. If your hands are freezing, if you get frostbite, just stick them in. And then the other person can do it to you, and then you can be warm. I thought this through. Um, what is wrong with me? I'm sleepy, but I cannot go to sleep. Well, it is dark now, but it's 6.20 p.m. I cannot go to sleep yet. I'll wake up at 11 p.m. and be awake all night. And also, it's pathetic. <laughs> like, like, I don't want to fuck up my hard one sleep schedule anymore. Snake eating its own tail. Of <laughs> yeah, it's the Ouroboros of hands and boobs. Hands and cleavage, Ouroboros. Why? Oh, there it is. The Ouroboros. Um. <laughs> you guys are funny. I I like you. You're funny. It's like that for tall guys. We can't just buy a regular. Ah, uh, yes. Yeah, the um, my whole family is really tall. Well, on my mom's side. And, um, yeah, it was like a whole thing when my brother was in college because the place he moved to was the mattress just wasn't long enough. My cousin is six foot nine. And so his feet just hang off the bed. <laughs> um, oh, he got third place. Oh, oh, happy Fat, wait, Fat Tuesdays today? Really? I didn't get to flash anyone. Um... Hello, how's it going? My phone is dead. I should probably build the King's Case. See, I can't eat King's Case cake, so I'm allergic. I will never have the luck of the king's cake. 
I've never had it. Often, it just depends. Not very often. Well, I go through phases where I have to wear it more. I went like a month without having to wear it. Um, and now, lately, I have to wear it almost every day. But not all day. I just like, it just depends um, on like how much I rest my body and stuff. Aww. Friend. Uh, you don't have to eat it, you just look... You have to break the bread, break the cake, the, uh, defile the cake, looking for a baby? As long as someone else eats it, I'll defile it with gloves on. Um... Uh, no, I have, uh, long COVID and porphyria. Um... That Tuesday is Mardi Gras. It's the day before Lent starts. I'm not Catholic, but I still celebrate Mardi Gras. In Germany, it's called Fushing. That's what Mardi Gras and Fat Tuesday is called. Fushing. In Germany, on Fushing, we all wear costumes. And people, like the upper classmen, would run around the school. And you have spray cans of the hair color stuff, you know, where you spray it on someone's head and their hair is a different color. You would They would run around spraying everyone's heads different colors, everyone's hair different color. That was like a thing. Uh, Mardi Gras and Fat Tuesday are the same thing. And Oh wait, what's the second thing? Oh, Porphyria. It's like a thing that has to do with how your blood holds oxygen and stuff like that. It, it has to do with like stuff in your blood and stuff. Porphyrins. In my case, it's probably medication caused or something. They're unsure about how that came to be. You guys call, you guys call Mardi Gras Pancake Day? That's a terrible name. <laughs> Is that for life? Nah, I don't know. No clue. No fucking clue. You eat a lot, of, I mean, yeah, you can eat a lot of pancakes, but is the day, is the word for Mardi Gras pancake day in the UK? That is terrible. Hmm. I haven't slept in until eight today. Why am I so sleepy? I entertained a child yesterday. I entertained a tiny child yesterday. My nephew is so cute. <laughs> Guys, so I um, I didn't have a lot of notice for when for my brother's arrival, and I was sick for like a week and a half before that, and so I only knew for like a day or two that they were coming. But before that, I was sick for a week and a half, so I couldn't do anything. Like I couldn't clean. My house just got messier and messier. Um, well, my cousin, my nephew, walks in the house with me because we're getting my iPad so we can play Lego Star Wars, and. He looks around and he's like, why is your house so dirty? Because <laughs> he's five and five-year-olds have no concept of like filter when it comes to the, like a lot of things. It was so funny. I laughed. Um, and I explained being sick and stuff. Um, he also, it's <laughs> so at a friend's house, like an older friend he has, who's like eight or something, they played Among Us, like on... Like that kid is allowed to play video games like Among Us. So they played that at his friend's house. And they, I guess, play Among Us, but without a device. Like they play their own Among Us where they like, they're like, you're the imposter and you're the crewmate. And we're gonna run around and like do fake tasks. And oh no, someone's gonna find a dead body. So he decided that we had to play that. Um, but it had to be very specific. And he wanted to be the imposter, but he still wanted us to get the like have little pieces of paper that said imposter or crewmate and you just like grab one um but he can't read he's five so so i had to draw i was like oh i know where i wrote imposter i'll just draw a little kitty cat and then the one with the kitty cat is the imposter so at one point he's screaming i'll get the imposter pussy <laughs> He's, it was so cute. 
Uh, imposter pussy. Yeah. So, um, we had fun. <laughs> but he didn't like... <laughs> you gotta watch out for that imposter pussy. But he, like, didn't understand that, like... Okay, so if one person's dead because the imposter killed that person and there's only one other crewmate, there's imposter, crewmate, dead person. So then there's an emergency meeting and it's me and my nephew and we're the only ones alive. And I say, he's the imposter. He says, I'm the imposter. It's a tie, obviously, because there's not enough of us. But like, he would not believe that three people was not enough people to play this game. He just would not. He's like, no, it's you. It's a tie. And then... Uh, we made Jack be the fourth person, and whoever he walked closer to, that, my dog, whoever he walked closer to, was his vote. Yeah. So, very convenient having a dog, and your nephew doesn't understand. <laughs> doesn't understand. Sort of, uh... <laughs> yeah, it's really cute. Kids are great, man, but god, they're exhausting. Yeah, they're so fucking exhausting. Yeah, I got roasted hard. I no, I have long COVID and my blood doesn't hold oxygen well because of porphyria. It comes and goes. Um, Prada changes color based on the weather. That'd be interesting. Oh, you like a mood ring? You know, like mood. You know that people used to have mouse mouse pads that were like that. You like put your hand on it and it changes color where the heat is. You can have a bra that's like that. So then if someone grabs your boob, then it's got like the hand print in it, like the colors until it goes away. Cool band name. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. My nephew's understanding of, he had so much fun though. It was adorable. He's so fucking cute. I'm really glad I don't have kids though right now. I'm so tired. I'm so fucking tired. Um, but... And it was only like two days. It was really only like a full day because of what, like when they arrived and when they left. It's only like 24 hours total. But man, I'm beat. I don't know how I would do that every day. I go to visit them for like a week and I'm so tired. Um, mood bras made by Mary. That'll be my merch, mood bras, mood rings, but for your boobs. Um, it said you were crappy a lot. I used to have a mood ring. Man, I haven't seen mood rings in so long. Why do people not use mood rings anymore? They're, they're so like nostalgic. I'm looking at mood rings. Are they made of something terribly toxic? Were we all, were, were we all getting, getting poisoned by our mood rings? Mood rings. They still exist. Wow. I don't know why I said that like that. Because I'm so fucking out of it. I think as soon as my brain uh, gets, or my body gets used to this new medication and I don't have like a mind, mind splitting, head splitting, brain splitting? This splitting headache anymore all the time, then I'll be like a way more functional person. But I'm no longer a stroke risk. It's working. So, you know, worth it. Uh, yeah, mood rings, man. Weird. I've forgotten those existed. Um, hello. Hey, wait, my chat disappeared. I lost my chat. No. My chat, I had it popped out and then I popped it back in and it deleted the whole chat. I don't know what you guys said. Wait, no, it's back. <laughs> I just had to open it again. Did it hurt? What? Because it was a fad. True, true. Mood. <laughs> That's our version. Owen Wilson. <laughs> is that who that is? I don't know where I picked that up. <laughs> oh, and I fell from heaven. I, we just watched that episode the other day. 
And they all fell from heaven. We watched the one where Dean gets turned into a dog today. <laughs> uh, uh. Have you guys seen my very- oh my god, my hair. Have you guys seen my very cool barbed wire? I know some of you have. Look at my gold barbed wire. Wow, it's gold. And it's barbed wire. It's kind of pokey, but worth it. For fashion. Looks painful? A little bit. <laughs> no, it's like, not really. But I am going to take it off because... I want to, because my... Because I was... Because it's so hot, my hair is getting all like, you know, tangled. Good luck. Hi, Shy. Uh, I saw your message. I was gonna stream for a little bit and see how I did. I, uh, I'm not feeling great. <laughs> but I wanna play, we should pick a day to do uh, games. Did you guys do, Shy, did you guys do Ghost Watchers? Did you do it? I wanna do it. Have I, have I considered? Uh, I had short hair in 10th grade and it was not good. Um, <laughs> I have, um, I have like incredibly beefy, like everything. And with short hair, I look, um, it just like is a weird balance. Like I look more like a linebacker, <laughs> like, you know, like, which is fine. But like, this is more feminine and I like that there's like, I'm like big and beefy and stuff, which is typically seen as like more masculine. But then I've got like all these feminine qualities, like long hair, big boobs, you know, makeup. So I like that like combo and it, the balance is thrown off with short hair. Um, thank you. It is going to be the tiniest bit darker brown in a few days when I finally get around to dyeing it. <laughs> She's hey, up Thank you for gifting us up. Thank you for gifting us up to Forest Forest. Thanks for the sub. <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> um, a foot of snow tomorrow? Jesus. Well, I am down to play Ghost Watchers. I also really want to play the um, Surgeon Simulator 2 because it's... Uh, um, Multiplayer. Am I a natural blonde? No, um, I'm a natural brunette with like red bits. I'm just brunette basically, but with red bits and like freckles like a ginger. Can I tell you what my friend said without you mad at me? I can make no guarantees, but sure. But sure. Uh, working from home tomorrow. Yeah, well, I am around. Would, it, would I ever dye black? Well, I've had it, like, so dark, the brown. I've had it be so brown, like, dark brown, that it was basically black. Like, it looked black on camera, and it looked black in, like, anything except direct sunlight. So I have had that by accident. But, uh, <laughs> it was, it was okay on me, but it wasn't great. It, yeah, it wasn't like the most flattering thing. I don't really know what the most flattering thing is. Not this color. This color is not the most flattering because this is just faded. I used to have it bleached because I had it red. And so then I put brown over it, but it's like faded into this like not great brown, it's like not a cute brown. Looks like a female Hagrid, but cute. Fuck yeah, Hagrid was, was um, lovely, but yeah. Yeah, you know what? See the giant, the big hair. The big hair is very Hagrid. Hagrid. Hag Hagrid. Um, and also I'm a big bitch like Hagrid, so it fits. It's suitable. Mm -hmm. Um, I used to have purple hair. That was pretty. Uh, purple hair was really pretty. It's just so much work. Much. I just like 
don't have a lot in me, you know, in terms of energy for like going to the hair salon and stuff. I feel like, I feel like I am, I have too much like stuff like that, you know? I just don't, I can't handle the commitment of exciting hair right now. <laughs> hello, hello, thank you, thank you. Jolison, how's it going? Thank you, Mr. Wires. Hey. Um, Roxifus, I have not heard that saying. <laughs> oh yeah, no, I'm good, I'm good. I, um, yeah, no, it's all good, baby. Um... Cheaper, yeah. I just, it would have been real fucking nice if my hair hadn't started turning gray when I was fucking 15. Am I bitter? Maybe. I wish it would just turn completely white because then I could dye it like pastel colors. Like, you know how like old ladies sometimes will have like all white hair and it's like this puff. I would still leave mine long, but like they have just like a puff of like pink or pastel purple and stuff like that. But no, it's just like like that, that that gray and like gray throughout. Um, I'm not, I'm not, I don't want the gray. It's not good on my skin tone. Um, do I remember you? Uh, I remember you. I do. Maybe. What's happened to me, Nart? Nothing. It's long COVID and porphyria. My blood doesn't hold oxygen well. Okay, bye, Shai. Um, I will write you back in the group chat about post watches and stuff. Um, um, what? Supernatural thumbnail? Okay, your statement does not make sense, so I'm going to ignore it. Um, we have not watched Supernatural on the stream today. Um, uh, whenever I go to the... Wait, you asked them to cut off the bits of your hair that are gray? Like, instead of dyeing it, you just cut off the ones that are gray? The individual hairs that are gray? The hot thumbnails before, you mean my past streams? We did a, it, the title should say what it is. It, it was Supernatural Smasher Pass. The title says so. Um. <laughs> yeah, good call, Big B. Very confusing. How do you, oh, tags. You're referring to that. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, That's because yesterday, yesterday? A few days ago, we did Supernatural Smasher Pass. Here, I removed it. Um, Supernatural Smasher Pass. It was really fun. That's what that's about. Um, uh, my throat is starting to hurt. Okay, if I don't go lie down and relax, I will end up getting worse <laughs> like health wise and I don't want to have to spend another week in bed I would like to do dumb shit I want to go rollerblading I'm not even close to being able to do that yet but I want to go walk my dog that's what I want to do um and I want to play video games I have to reinstall the emulator for deadly premonition because I fucked it up I well that's not true it well yes it is true but I fucked it up with the help of my antivirus software. <laughs> it was, I did set it up all correctly, which was not, which was pretty complicated. I was proud of myself because I'm not, that's not a strength of mine. I'm not good at that. But no, I had to go and fuck it up by not telling my antivirus the right thing. But I now I can't tell what happened, so I have to just delete it all. 
start over fresh, which is many hours of process. Uh, so we won't be playing that tonight or tomorrow. I have to like sit here and do it. Um, when I'm medicated. I should have done that while we were watching Supernatural. But instead, I made stir fry. Yeah, yeah, I need to go to bed but not fall asleep. I'll do all the wait. I'll do all the stuff for going to sleep, but I won't go to. Weird. Uh, hold on. I'm got distracted. And I went through my follower list, except I didn't actually look at who was live. Like it didn't process. Oh, let's do, um, you know what? Let's do a stranger. Yeah, let's do a stranger. And we'll do the, someone who's playing the forest. How about this person who's playing the forest? I don't have my glasses. Um, I find that meditation is terrible when you have a pain disorder because distraction, uh, like focusing like that on how your body feels and stuff, is not great when you lived your entire life. Um, maybe very unhealthy. Instance. And you're not distracted. You are just doing things. Oops. Sorry, micro. Sorry, you guys. Hi. Hello. Yeah. So what if I want to do strangers, Reese? <laughs> uh. I love you guys. You guys are wonderful. You guys are great. I showered today and I took a bunch of photos and videos. So like, I did accomplish things and I made stir fry. Um, I'm gonna eat chocolate in bed. It's gonna be great. And I'm gonna stay awake and definitely not fall asleep. <sighs> not fall asleep anytime soon. <laughs> oh, fuck. Hey, look at them quality links. <laughs> Shit, I forgot. Uh, well, enjoy those great 